this take a lot of <laughs> harassment. <laughs> Can I have a moment, please? Sure. It has been the most emotional day of testimony so far. New Center 5's David Beenick live at the courthouse in Dedham with this, David. Erica, that young woman you just heard from is a family member describing some of the harassment she says her family has received from Karen Reed's supporters. You're going to hear more from her coming up tonight at 6. But first, there was also important testimony here today about Reed's SUV and when exactly John O'Keefe got out of it. Ryan Nagel had gone with two friends that night to pick up his younger sister, Julie, from a party at 34 Fairview Road. Because she shot me a text asking for a ride. As Nagel pulled up in his friend's pickup, the three of them saw a black SUV, similar to Karen Reed's, parked and still running in front of the house. In fact, Nagel's girlfriend had first noticed the SUV as they turned onto the street with two people inside. I've noticed a male and a female in the car. The pickup then pulled up behind the SUV, and Nagel's sister came out, but decided not to leave and went back in. As the pickup pulled away, it went past the SUV, and Nagel says he noticed an interior light was on and a woman in the driver's seat. It seemed like she was looking straight ahead with her hands at 10 and 2 on the steering wheel. But none of the three people in the pickup say they saw the male passenger at that point. The defense has said that O'Keefe had gone inside the house where they say he was killed in a fight. They suggested O'Keefe had gotten out of the SUV without the people in the pickup noticing. You were not monitoring what was going on inside or outside that black SUV, correct? Correct. But the prosecutor suggested O'Keefe was still in the SUV at that time and that the people in the pickup simply didn't see him. And fair to say that if a six foot uh, man had walked from the SUV to the house, is that something that you think you would have seen? Sustained. 